we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit today about deep versus shallow copies and to understand what that means let's take a look at my explorer window and i have this file here called uh, input.txt which happens to be buried all the way deep in this file structure and if i want to get access to this file quickly i could put a shortcut to it on the desktop so i think if i go over here and say create shortcut here's a shortcut right there and then if i want to i can take the shortcut and move it to the desktop now right here if you can see that the input file right now has this in it right here and my question is, if I was to go to the shortcut, and if I was to change this, right, if I were to put something else in here, and if I was to do a save and an exit, now if I was to go back to my Windows Explorer and go back to where I was, which you can see that the file has been changed. So my question to you is, how many input files do I actually have on my computer? Mr. Garofalo, sir, do I have one file or two as far as the input goes? It's one file. What I have are two pointers to the file. There's a pointer here on my desktop and a separate pointer that's buried much deeper in the file structure that I showed you. But I think you can see here that if I change one, it automatically changes the other. We say that this file has a shallow copy. The shortcut is the shallow copy. Now, let's take a look at what this means for code. So I'm gonna go back and look at some dog code that we had written much earlier. And let's look at this dog tester for a second. And I'm gonna create this dog called Luna right here. And if I create another dog down here like that, what I want to know now is, have I created a deep copy of this dog or have I created a shallow copy? Another way to think about this is if I change the name of the dog here and then I print the dog's other the other dog's name, is it going to print Luna or is it going to print Tuna? Please discuss. Mr. Borden, sir, can you tell me how many dogs do I really have here? One or two? It may look like two because I did this, but I think I mentioned to you that with very rare exceptions, there's only one way to create a new dog. What keyword do I need to create a new dog? I need the new keyword. Have I used the new keyword here to create the e-dog? I have not. So this is actually exactly the same thing as I have with my shortcut file. I now have two pointers that point to the exact same dog. So therefore, when I change the name of one of them, they will both change. In fact, I'm gonna show you that right now. You can see that they've both changed their name to Tuna now. There's only one dog, really. If I wanted to create another dog, I would have to go through the process like this. And now I've created what is known as a deep copy. It's a deep copy because everything exists in two different places in memory. So now if I change one of them, the other one will not change. So let me show you that now. And you can see that they have different names now because they're different dogs. Okay, why am I showing you this today when we're discussing arrays? Because I want to talk about the same thing, the same principle as it applies to arrays. So let's look at our array project again. And let's do this. Let's first create an array called nums. And then let's create another array. And what I'd like to know is, do I have one array or do I have two arrays? What do I really have? That's my question. Strangely, no, this is exactly the same situation where one is a shortcut for the other. Let me show you that. So here, do I have a print method here? I do, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna set nums sub two. I'm gonna change the first element to a zero like that and then i'm going to print both arrays you can see they both changed which is a good sign that there's really only one array here so if i want to make a deep copy i have one of two choices i can either do this now i've got a deep copy alternatively i could also do this and then i could use a loop like that that would create a deep copy 
you see the difference, right? So what's happening here is analogous to what I showed you with the dog, uh, et cetera. So in order to create a deep copy, I have to either use this operator or I have to use this new operator and then fill it in. If I just use the equals operator, the assignment operator, that only creates a copy of the pointer. So it creates a shallow copy. This uh, going to be an important uh, thing here when we talk later about the multiple choice on the AP exam. And they're going to give you some problems like this to try and uh, mess with your head a little bit. OK, so we'll do one more example, and then we'll move on. Ms. Erda, what do you think? Shallow copy, shallow copy, shallow copy. Here is my first step at trying to build a deep copy. Then later on, I would come in here and fill in this array with whatever this one had, and then that would establish a deep copy. Deep copy versus shallow copy. Yes, sir. I think I did this example earlier, but I'll do it again. Data one and data two, are these deep copies or shallow copies, sir? No, sir, these are deep copies now because I've created completely separate arrays here using the shortcut operator. The shortcut operator is a replacement for the keyword new. It's just like using new. So these are these are now deep copies. 